Hi, Lorraine Bosset Smith here. Wanted to share some exercise tips for many folks who are trying to lose that quarantine 15, 30, however many pounds came on uh, with the craziness of last year. Two things. One is to caution you against overdoing it. I can't tell you how many people I've seen, whether it's personal training or fitness classes, who go too aggressively too fast and end up hurting themselves. And then they're out for three to six months and they're lucky if they ever come back. Take it easy. Start off slow. I had a gentleman and he's my hero because he really did it right. He was very overweight, hadn't exercised before. So he started to come into my class and he lasted like eight minutes. And then he said, that's all I can do today. I mean, he could barely get up the stairs to get to class. But guess what? He kept coming, kept improving, kept getting better because he didn't overdo it before you knew it. He was one of the best and healthiest and strongest and fittest in my class. And to this day still, he did it right. So I caution you, I've seen people play four hours of tennis a day, work out for two, and then go for a bike ride. That is way too much on your body. Now, granted, there are those extremists, those uh, endurance runners, you know, that go 100 miles. But even the research for those fit individuals says they are shortening their lifespan by overdoing it and taxing the body. It's a lot of inflammation that's hitting your body and the wear and tear and the potential for injury. So just moderation is the key. The second point I wanted to make, especially with us being warmer and coming up to months of summertime, is to pay attention to the heat. I did not do this over the week and I got really, really close to heat exhaustion. Just didn't drink enough, didn't get my electrolytes, and exercise, you know, cycling in the middle, the hottest part of the day. Be mindful of it. Be with people who can see the signs in you. I stopped sweating and was getting dizzy. So those are serious things. Watch it for yourself. Watch it for others. Bring plenty of water, but it's not just that. It's the electrolytes that you need to replace from the sweating that you're doing. So take care. Do it right. You'll get the results you seek. You'll be healthier and happier for it. Lorraine Bosse-Smith, let's stay connected.